Fam, we have a good show today. We have a very important show. Um, uh, yeah. This is the type of show that I got no sleep for last night because when you start going down yeah. these rabbit holes about what's going on, uh, we're going to start off talking about Jeffrey Epstein because to us, uh, well, to me especially too as well, I don't want to speak for anybody else, mm-hmm. it's very, very important to understand what's going on with Jerry, Jeffrey Epstein. Mm-hmm. This is about the elites. This is about the the controllers, the, the, the owners, the people who own us getting crazy, getting out of control, uh, getting caught with their hands in the cookie jar. And as you start going down these rabbit holes, fam, there's a lot of stuff to unveil. And just let's just point out that the mainstream media is already on their uh, whole. Let's let's make this about Donald Trump. Yep. Only. Yep. Let's make this about Russia. <laughs> yep. Now, anything you say will be used against you and you're going to be called a conspiracy theorist, a, a, yep. a Russian bot. So, like, we already know all of this. We knew this was going to happen. This is what they always resort to when they're scared and they are that scared. we are unraveling things because the hammer is coming down and everything's falling apart. But the thing is, this has happened so many times now that we're already on top of it. And what Pasta is going to lay out for everyone is a lot of information that is going to make you kind of feel like you're putting a tinfoil hat on yeah but really unfortunately for us um it's actually the opposite um we this is this is pretty blatant at this point yeah so and you know they're going to be out there attacking you the mainstream media the everyday people the establishment uh they're going to be filled with all this information they're going to start calling you a conspiracy theorist Mm -hmm. the thing that we're hearing nowadays is like Oh, don't go down that rabbit hole. If you go down a rabbit hole, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, you're not. Going down the rabbit hole is just searching more for information that's out there to get the facts straight, to make your own opinion about what's going on. Because I'm not telling you what to believe. you got to believe for yourself what you think you have to believe. I'm going to just lay it out what I believe and why, and Fiorello is going to do the same thing. Okay? But going down rabbit holes is not a conspiracy thing. It's called searching and researching information to get it right. And we've gotten so used to not doing any research and hearing it from whatever they tell us and believing whatever they tell us and trusting the government that when you actually go down these rabbit holes and do the research, it it almost makes you look like you're crazy. But that's the normal thing that you're supposed to do anyway. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at two Easter bunnies over here because we go down rabbit holes. And so does Fee. I remember the time when I talked about, we were talking about the Modi thing. And it first came up and I was like, I heard about this with Modi and heard about that with Modi. And Fiorella was really nice. She goes, pasta. Did you read about that or are you just repeating something somebody said? And I said, I'm just repeating something somebody said. And then we did this whole show and I was so educated on what really went on. And there's a lot of information out there. And the mainstream media is trying to put forth their information. And they and they showed this week 100% that they are just part of the whole fucking elite's tool to keep your mind where they want it. They want to control you. They want to own you. So they're going to produce their narratives. So let's go down the Epstein rabbit hole and start because this is all connected, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, And it starts off with who is Jeffrey Epstein and where did he get his money from? Fam, what do you know off the bat where Jeffrey Epstein got his money from? Uh, Nobody knows. Nobody knows. (laughs) Nobody knows. Really, to tell you the truth, and if you think about it, it's like the elites, the oligarchs, they they clicked the button and filled his account with billions of dollars and let him do what he has to do. Um, the mystery of where Jeffrey Epstein fortune and how it was made. Epstein's early career is better documented. Okay, He was born in 1953 and raised in Brooklyn. Epstein dropped out of Cooper Union and New York University's current institute. He taught calculus and physics at Manhattan, Manhattan's exclusive Dalton School from 1973 to 1975. And according to 2002 New York Magazine profile, his students at Dalton included the son of Bear Stearns chairman, Alan Greenberg. Now, fam... It says it right here. He dropped out of two schools. How mm-hmm. do you become a teacher without graduating from college? I don't know, fam. Maybe back then there was something that you could do. Oh, maybe back then. Or maybe maybe, yeah. uh, maybe somebody just said, okay, you can do this because the elites, they have control and they never uh, are accountable for anything. And it's kind of funny because mm-hmm. he went over to Bear Stearns after. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, that's supposedly where he made billions, but nobody knows where it came from. We have a little video right here we're going to play right away. That shows about his assets and his sneaky business. Now we'll get into a little bit about where he set up shop and where all this arrest and all these trafficking from the women are coming from.
found this witness testimony that he gave you to retrieve the whole truth and nothing but the truth to help you out. Yes, I did. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. So, wow. can I just say this off the bat, Fiorella? Um, Jeffrey Epstein isn't a single rogue type of guy. Mm -hmm. He was made. He was made. Everything he was doing, he was made. Look at what... Now, I know the Pizzagate people are out there, the Pedogate people are out there. Now they're trumping the horn because they see the tip of the shit iceberg starting to unravel. Mm -hmm. And the tip of the shit iceberg is going to unravel. There's going to be a lot more people named, a lot more people you know, talked about. There's going to be people that we know that haven't been named, that were on that plane, that were on that island, or knew what was going on. And I like to see who the everybody who was so cozy with the Clintons, who ran the DNC, what they got to say about this. Let's take a look at the island, fam, that this sick, twisted son of a bitch brought these girls to. Now, here, here's the thing. When you look at this... Um, this is one part of this big, huge island. This is a drone footage. But you see this thing over there where the arrow's out, fam? This is like this temple or this, like, ritual place. It's kind of creepy. And it kind of gives weight to those people in the Peter, the pizza and Peter gate people who are saying these are cultish type of things. This is an actual island here. But I can't explain it. I, I, you tell me what you think this is as we get closer to this thing. You could, he'll zoom into it right now. You'll see it right there on the top over there. Does he get a little closer or no? He gets closer right now with the drone. All right, so that's, you can see a flag. There's like a house. It's over the water. He owns a lot of these islands that are next to each other over here too as well. But you see this fam? What is that? You t what is that? Oh. La ladies that and gentlemen. Like a temple. Is that an observatory? Is that a temple? Everybody out there on the uh, on the on the internet. Like we're not making this up. This thing is real. You guys can go find it yourself. This is it's, it's, got, it's just really freaking weird. It looks like something out of like a movie. Uh, I mean, look at that thing. Honestly, like <laughs> it, this is why why people go down rabbit holes and start calling like Illuminati and and all. what's the other place where they go? The presidents all go and it's like in a forest and they're all naked. I don't you know. know. What I'm talking I, about. I know what you're it's, talking about. It's all that stuff's been talked it's just, about. But yeah. no. But everybody like dismisses it because, like, what what are you supposed to do with that information? Like, we don't know what's going on. Okay, New York Casey said on the on the MCSC network, and this is true. The CIA uses cults to blackmail people, and that's what I'm saying. They have Bill Clinton and all these other people, and there were some serious people on that Lolita Express. Mm -hmm. There are women who have been confessing. They were ages 13, 14, and 15 that Jeffrey Epstein and all mm. these people, and that madam, Mrs. Maxwell, that you saw in that last video. Can we go to the picture of where Mrs. Maxwell is at? Didn't she attend a wedding? I know we're jumping ahead, but I think it just goes uh, nicely with this. Who's that? Fiorella found this picture. Who's that at Chelsea Clinton's wedding? Uh, that is Miss the madam. She's right there in the in the red. What's yeah. Maxwell? Maxwell. That's her. And there's right there. Phil. It's all one fam group, fam. It's a big club, and we ain't in it. I don't want to be part of their club. <laughs> no, we ain't in it. <laughs> I don't okay. want to be part of that. So, when did all this stiff stuff start happening, Johnny? Johnny, you have a little bit of a a, a timeline. We can talk about this, and this also, uh, uh, it supports the fact that this guy has been protected for a long time, and we're going to get into that. Go ahead. Right, yeah. So I see a, a couple comments on the YouTube that said that this is old news, and you're actually uh, absolutely right. This is definitely old news. Uh, this case started in 2005. Hold on, I'm trying to pull up the... Where is it? Where is it? It's old news, but people they they completely pushed it under the table. Yeah. That's the point. Every, t every single time shit was disappearing, it was going around, it was scrubbed. So here's the, for, for the early Epstein years. And he's going to talk about in 2005, Johnny. What in do you 2005, got? this started. He started looking for girls around his uh, his my, his Palm Beach uh, house, his mansion, and that's when shit popped off because uh, uh, one of the girls came to the police. Yep. And, uh, and basically, 2006, 2007 was legal shit. 
2008. You can look through this. Uh, just look up Timeline, Miami Herald. Miami Herald actually did great investigating journalism on this. Yes, they did. Uh, in 2008, uh, no, 2009, he gets sentenced. Um, you have it right here. Yes. He has to register as a sex offender. He's on probation for a year. Uh there were records of him when he was in jail that he would come in and out. He was put in a... Jim DeFeedy put it up there. He was able to go as come and go as he pleased. Six days a week, he would just check in once a week at this place sometimes and then just check back out. You know, he didn't have to do anything. It was just a, a come and go as you please. Now, we were saying that a lot of people were bought off, right, John? Yes. We were saying that, but then we look a little bit deeper. Deeper. And thanks to, we have a comment up, somebody put there, right? Uh, we have the, should we talk about the logs first or what do you think we should talk yeah, about? Yeah, uh, in 2010, they got these uh, flight logs. Yes. And, uh, but in 2015, it wasn't re it wasn't released pu publicly until Gawker, this site that uh, uh, doesn't exist anymore, that got shut down. Mm -hmm. They put it out in 2015 uh, and they actually published them. So if you look at the flight logs, here they are. Um, How many times do we wait, wait, Let's see Bill's name Let's see Let's find this, Mr. Bill Clinton. Oh there's Bill There's Bill Boom Bill Clinton 2002 The 9th of January February uh, And then let's see Scroll down again Bill Clinton Boom Four, four Secret Service Two males One female uh, January 9th Again uh, all these initials you see J E, uh, that's uh, or yeah, that's Jeffrey Epstein. Mm -hmm. G M is J just Assault Maxwell. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know who S K is, and I don't know who A P is. So, uh, but yeah, you'll see, you'll find Bill Clinton's name here a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, and the the mainstream media is only claiming he was there six times. Well, yeah, that's what he said four, and then they took down the Wikipedia because do we have the Wikipedia up? The thing, or do we? Uh, are we no? Well. No. All right, with that, you have that one. Put that up there. Look at this one. It says, Former uh, President Bill Clinton was much more of a frequent fire on the registered sex offender infam infamous jet than previously reported, with flight logs showing the former president talk, uh, taking at least 26 trips aboard the Lolita Express, even apparently ditching the Secret Service detail for at least five of the flights. I mean, and, and we have all the logs. We have to prove it. We know that Trump was on that plane at least once. Once. once Bill Clinton we know he was on it 26 times but you 26. know what happened you know what the fucking fascist did fam in Wikipedia they took Bill Clinton out of there and left Trump in there and well, and this isn't to defend Donald Trump again you like they make it really really easy and they make me really pissed off when I have to sit there and be like actually Trump <laughs> isn't as involved in this situation as they're trying to make it out to be because it would be perfect for him to be easily involved in the situation. It would just completely go right along with their narrative. Yeah. But unfortunately for them, Bill Clinton is actually far more involved. And this isn't a Republican or a Democrat issue. This is a rich people, disgusting, yeah. uh, sociopathic but people that are running these oligarchs that are running the country and the world. Yeah, and it's just so disgusting because they're letting the every average day people on top of it. They've gotten so greedy that we have seven hundred thousand, almost close to seven hundred thousand people homeless on the street. Like that's how greedy they are. They have all this crazy enriched money. They're they have abusing islands. women, little children, left and right. And then now, and what does the mainstream media and the establishment do? They they focus on one thing: a, a, a Trump and Acosta. And let's go after Acosta. Let's make him the freaking scapegoat. Acosta gave this guy off the hook. No, 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 no. Because we go into it deeper, right? That's what we were originally thinking. Yeah. Well, we were we were talking about it. We we're like, okay, well, why did Acosta let it do it? Acosta got paid off. The guy at the the Broward County Sheriff got paid off. Let's go to our. Uh, somebody sent us, and we, I'm glad they sent it. There's one of our followers, and this is what we're saying. We love. We love our followers. Thank you so much for what you do. Because do you have a picture of everybody who was on the Lolita Express too as well? Yes. We're going to show you a picture of people on the Lolita Express. Alan Dershowitz, Larry Summers, all those people. I know we're jumping all around because our, 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 our did it. Should we read this first? Uh, no, let's show the people on the... Let's uh, show the, the, the Lolita Express. These are the people that were on it. So Bill got, Clinton, Donald Trump, Kevin, Kevin Spacey, Spacey, Chris no. Tucker... There's Larry Summers. If you don't know who Larry Summers is, ladies and gentlemen, that was the person that was... That's great company. Right Larry there. Summers was the person who was in charge of the repeal of Glass-Steagall. He was also the one to, to speak for the Reagan administration to say that derivatives should be legal when you could bet against the stock. 
So he pushed for that. And then when Obama took over, he hired Laurie Summers and Tim Geithner back. That's the first sign that you're like, wait a second. Obama, what are you doing? You're hiring all these people within finance that were part of the problems, that were mm. connected to the banks, that were connected to the Dershowitzes. And also Naomi Campbell's on that plane too as well. Here's the sixth thing. Now listen, we were about to go to sleep. We were doing so much work on this. Somebody, Polar, uh, Polar, Polar, Polara 01, sorry, Polara 01 said, Pasta and Fiorella. Here are the connections that you need to understand regarding Jeffrey Epstein and the Labor Security uh, Secretary Acosta. This just shows that our intelligence communities are deeply involved with low-life characters like Jeffrey Epstein. This should strike the foundation to everyone whose country to drink the Kool-Aid and believe that the propaganda have, that we have been fed for decades, they're all lies and behind the scenes, these are the people who do, who do no good and everything. I can't barely read. They I'm sorry. do is not in the interest of us, just Thank the you. elites. Please check this video out. And uh, so we're going to go. Thank you for helping me out there. My eyes were squeaking. I was like... Basically, this guy, the last American vagabond. He yes. Does a, an I'm so glad we found this guy. He does an incredible job at explaining uh, uh, the Epstein case in a deeper. Yeah, he does. shout out. What's his name? Uh, he's the last American Can vagabond. Well, is vagabond. That his real name? I don't know who this guy is, but okay, go well, check this guy. Okay, shout out to you. Wow. I mean, yeah. <laughs> show the, you want to show the, the thing he put up? Look at this. Alex Acosta reportedly claimed that Jeffrey Epstein belonged to intelligence this is big ladies and gentlemen because that's what happened and it's true because they questioned him about this at that last hearing he had two days ago or was it yesterday they questioned him they said what what why did you cut the sweet deal and he was told alex acosta was told listen i was told that he's intelligent he's intelligence he's above my pay grade and to just take the deal and shut the fuck up and when you are told that this is intelligence that's not like saying oh you should consider the fact that he's intelligent and maybe cut him a deal. They're saying he's above your pay grade. Take the deal or your fucking house blows up at 5 p.m., Acosta. He was forced to take this deal. And then when when the Trump administration uh, interviewed him, he told him, he goes, I was told it's above my pay grade. He's intelligence. And a lot of people have talked before that he might be Mossad, Epstein, being Israeli intelligence. Whatever the case may be, he was told that this guy was an elite to shut up, take the deal, and that's it. But Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, the mainstream media, they're trying to concentrate on this. And all this information is here, fam. And they're not mentioning it once to the people. Not once. They don't say shit about Bill Clinton. Nothing. Nothing. They're trying everything they can to completely alienate him. And Bill Clinton has tried everything he can to alienate himself from this but he can't alienate himself when there's proof that he was involved yeah. so well who ends up dead next is it acosta is it no not acosta is it epstein does epstein kill himself and hang himself in the jail cell or does bill clinton get whacked you know what i'm saying doubt. at what point are the elites going to be like oh you know what these guys are out of control we got to exterminate them all because now they're about to unravel the thing because what can happen with this case next is the situation right john Right. Where and, can and, this case go from here? And where it's at today, uh, let's see, today, earlier today, um, they, his lawyers asked if uh, they can put him on bail so he can leave the, uh, you know, the, 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 the place he's at. He's being held in a Metropolitan Correctional Center in Lower Manhattan, the same high security facility where Paul Manafort, uh, Trump's former campaign chief, is being held while he faces <laughs> straight, uh, state fraud charges. And also El Chapo's there. Uh, which is interesting. <laughs> That's um, all fun. Wow. His, I want to go there. His lawyers asked for a bail, and the U.S. is arguing hard to not give it to him. And they ha uh, prosecutors have until Friday tomorrow, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time, to make a decision. So we'll be back on that for uh, tomorrow. What do you think is going to happen? I think Epstein's going to end up dead. Unless, uh, they're going to say he got killed by prisoners, uh, other people in, in jail, because they killed him because he was a sex offender. Because, you know, they have their own martial law in there. Like, in other words, sex offenders for children in jail are belittled. Like, you can't join a lot of shit in there. They'll kill your ass. Yeah. They don't want to deal with child, anybody who's affected children. Even the criminals, the harsh criminals in there, have a fucking heart and say, if, you, if you're a sex offender for children, you're ostracized. No. So my guess is that Epstein might be fucking, end up either hung in a cell, killed, stabbed, or shanked. And this thing tries to all go away. But it's the whole system we got to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't one guy. This is a system. Mm -hmm. We have owners, right? Mm -hmm. And they own you. And they're playing you. And it's all tied to Seth Rich, too, as well. 
Yeah, how does this tie to Seth Rich, fam? It ties because 